Welcome back to more Skyrims. There's Serana glitching out. I did fast travel over here to Northwatch Keep. This is where apparently we have to go. Um, I did fast travel here to save a little bit of loading screen and editing work for myself. And check this out. Not going to happen. She's not gonna pick up my shit. She's not gonna pick that shit up. <sighs> I guess she's not a full follower yet. It's not like I need... Oh, nerd nerd. But yeah, it's not like I need that stuff. I do have 850 carry weight. So that's not something I should worry about. Alright. Castle Volkahar. Spiky grass. Lost. Okay, those don't look like they're gonna murder me. And even if it did, then I would not be the one end up being dead. You are not welcome here. Say that again, and I'll murder your ass. Okay, what's wrong with Serana? Hey, so before we go in there, what is I it? I wanted to thank you for getting me this far, but after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. <laughs> Showing control. I always, I almost murdered the the guy over there. And also, Dawn Guard isn't my friend. I chose Dawn Guard because I didn't want my blood tainted with vampirism, werewolfism, and humanism. I would have preferred dragon blood, but I guess, you know, that doesn't happen. After all these years, Lady Serana's back. Now that's something. Okay. How dare you trespass here? Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe. But yeah, I chose Dawn Guard because I looked up the extra weapons in Dawn Guard, and uh, the crossbows deal damage against armored, and I'm pretty armored. So they're gonna be more annoying, and also I, I'm not a caster. I like my lightning spells. That's about it. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me. Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, she has I'm delighted to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our home? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter will have told you what we are. Vampires. I, I, I don't want to be the, the BM. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. Your scroll, your daughter, or your... 
people. Or the people that your people are eating. You have done me a great service, and now you must be rewarded. Oh, you're gonna give me Raised five gold. Gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Ew. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! Dude, you're ugly! Make your choice. That dude is ugly! Uh, I, I don't want to become a vampire. So be it. You are prey, like all mortals. I banish you. You know, there are some uglies that are, like, frightening, and there are some things that just look like... like they're going to tear a hole in you. But but that guy didn't look like any of that. He's he's just just ugly. I wonder if we can actually just fast travel out of here. Um yes, we can. We don't have to take the shitty boat anymore. So I think we have to head back to Fort Dongard, right? Yeah. The thing is actually outside of the map. Wow. Okay, this is the first time ever we need to double fast travel. Okay, I don't remember this place. Oh, come on! You're gonna make me walk up those- Ah! Whoever designed this fast travel system, you need to, like, redo it. Ah, why did you put me here? Someone needs to, like, make one of those giant mushroom place teleporty things to bring you up this fort. I do not like being forced to run. Not one bit. Hey, it looks like they give this guy some armor. No, that's not the guy. The guy that walked up in the previous video. There you go, I want to join the Dawn Guard for shits and giggles. Oh look, there's a battle. Okay, that one's uh, something I can kill. Don't mind me, I just loot corpses. Blacksmith potion. That would be nice, but I don't want it. I can't tell which one's a Dawn Guard and which one's a vampire. Probably the one using vampiric drain is a vampire. That's about the only spell I recognize. Okay, I think those chums can handle themselves. Never mind. Have to do everything myself. Shit. Oh, never mind. Not shit. Well, at least the game designers knew what they were doing. Look at this. I should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. Not exactly. I have news, but I wouldn't call it good. Of course. Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. Vampires were looking for a woman. A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? She wants to go home. I'm waiting to hear what any of this means. They have an Elder Scroll. They have a scroll full of math that makes you blind if you look at it. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? I'm not exactly a collector of, of math. 
Uh, there were too many and only one. I never got the chance. I got nerfed by the cutscene. I suppose you're lucky you're not dead. Or worse, one of them. By the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. You're sure I could just, like, go in there and cut them up? Unless they're essential, at which point I'll have to keep cutting them up. Well, of course we do. I'm old, not stupid. We're just going to need some help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here. There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Read to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. Might need a little convincing, but she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew, he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. So let me get something straight. Open. I can probably go slaughter every vampire in town. That's not a problem. The problem is the vampire slaughtering the NPCs that gives me quests. And instead of doing that, this guy wants me to fetch a couple of scrubs. It's a great use of uh, that's a great use of talent right there. This guy's this guy's great. And this one is right beside Dragon Tooth Crater. This this guy just does not want me to continue my dragon killing. Okay, so I fast travel to somewhere far away from that. Um from from the dragons, so it, I have a chance of not disturbing the dragon spawn. I'm hoping that works out. So I want to take the one on my right. So I'm guessing it's this one. Now I think Serana has light armor considering she casts magic. So I, I, I don't really know what I will give her in terms of armor. Now in terms of the armor design, because I have all the skills in the world to make any armor set overpowered. Oh, there's something trying to murder me. Oh, one of these. Oh, I didn't even need a power attack for that. Just got hit by the scrub attack. I do collect furs now because there is two more hearthfire houses that I have to patch up and build. So I do collect those pelts. As I was saying before, Serana, I don't know what armor I'll give her. I don't think I'll download a modded armor because I want to be able to keep the save as vanilla friendly as possible. So now I'm just up to design, basically. What, which armor design do I like the best? You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me. Well, just look around, will you? Isran. Isran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... Yeah, Isran's kind of an asshole. Uh, vampires. Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? 
Uh, the the scroll. I... Well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, this run is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mudcrabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? No, I don't carry shit with me. Fine, fine. I can't afford to forget about this work, though. Some very interesting applications. Now, where is it I'm supposed to be going? Fort Dongard. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. Well, definitely no progress in the stairs department. See you there. Enjoy your stairs and the lack thereof fast traveling. Oh, there's one of these things. Now on to the, the other guy. Where is the other one? I can never find the quest markers. Quest marker, quest marker. Ah, in the middle of nowhere. Again, right beside the dragon place. So yeah, I've been considering armor sets for Serana, and is there a dragon here? What do you want? Did someone die again? Do I need to go and slend teeth bowl them? I have a letter here from Quintus Navale in Windhelm. He said it was urgent. Urgent like what? Got to go. Quintus. What's a Quintus? Um. Oh, that quest wasn't finished yet. You know what? I want to wrap up Dawnguard, or at least this part of Dawnguard first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, great. One of these. Ugh. Wasted my shout, but that's okay. Where's my dragon rend? Dragon rend? Ah, oh, great. So let's just get this out. And also get the dragon rend. The. F the f Ugh, I glitched out again. I get no shouts in my bar. Now, where is that dragon? I must say, I'm getting quite. Oh, that one's not pissed off at all. Okay, we're gonna leave him alone then. I don't kill dragons that don't try to bite my head off. Either way, I've been trying to think of what armor set to give to Serana. Now, in terms of light armor, there's not really that many choices. I mean, the higher tier armors are basically elven and uh, glass and dragon scale. Now, I do want to keep Dragon Scale to something that's exclusive to me, which is why Lydia didn't even get one. And glass armor, unlike the glass weapons, it did not inherit the great design of glass. It, it, it looks kind of shitty. And Elven, I would say, probably is the best choice other than Dragon Scale. But that's not really saying much. That's like saying fish shit is less smelly than uh, dog shit. Oh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh, that's great. It's probably the scrub trying to handle a few bears. But yeah, so I'm not really sure what to get. I'm supposed to talk to this guy. Hold fast. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. I just murdered a uh, scrub. Ethron needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He is surely so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? I don't know, you got scaled armor, maybe to clean the castle up? Vampires? That... well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. By the eight. Not By a fan of Talos, eh? I'll consider it. I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Really? You want me to kill a bear? We are not level 10. We are level 67.
I'm going to do that thing that I do with StarCraft, where I do this... ...and I use walk. He killed that, killed that, killed that... Oh, that one survived being killed. Alright, alright. Bear pelt, claws... Hang on, I'm busy looting shit. You have fun with your, your troll there. Scrub. Don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You have He's scaled dead. armor and an so orc's so sword. I can do is find out Scrub. What wants. He's still at that fort in the standards beacon, I assume. Uh, I I guess he is. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. He's probably due to the lack of stairs. I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. Okay, you can meet me there, but I have other things to do. First of all... Uh, actually that walk didn't turn out too well. Probably because of the nerf to magic casted by the player. Alright, so what we want to do right now is... Um, a new order. Now you want to fix up the file. I know there's vampires, but I've pretty much been ignoring them this whole time, and everything seems to be fine. So ignoring them a couple more days should be not not a big deal. I kind of want to see what my carry weight is right now. It's only 232, so I can still continue playing for a really long time. Let's see what this guy wants. So he wants me to fix that shit up, huh? He seems to be upstairs. I'll never have Master Norelian skill with potions. Good to hear. You can be a difficult man to find. Thankfully, those couriers are tenacious. I have some thoughts. There are three crucial elements. Some may be easier to find than others. On the top of the throat of the world is a patch of unmelting snow. No heat can touch it. Then we need the tusk of a mammoth, ground to a fine powder as only the giants know how. The final step is tricky. It requires the briar heart from a forsworn of the reach. If you can bring me these materials, the file can again be made whole. Uh... But the only thing I know how to get is a briar heart, and that's irritating to get. The final tempering of the file was performed with a type of old magic that's been lost since the Dragon War. The nearest modern incarnation of it is the strange rituals practiced by the Forsworn. With the heart of one of their briar warriors, I can lock the file's magic into its physical form. It's difficult to explain to the layman. Forgive me if I begin waxing alchemic. On top of the throat of the world is a patch of snow that's never melted. They say the Greybeards taught it to ignore the sun, and the heat simply washes over it. The original file was made from this snow. We'll only need a small bit for the repairs. The ivory produced by those beasts is as hard as iron, but the giants have found ways to make it yield. They're able to grind it down so fine that it can be infused into the lattice of packed snow. The finished material has the delicate nature of fresh powder snow, but the strength of the hardest steel. Okay, I guess I'll go ahead and collect some shit. Pick up the shit, pick it <laughs> Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up some shit. Well, it's convenient that they gave us quest markers. So I guess let's go to the throat of the world first. No, 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 not that. That's not the throat of the world. A dragon up there? Wait, a standard dragon?
Well, Parthernex still isn't pissed, so that one must be not an aggressive dragon. Jump up there. Unmelting snow. See, I like it better when there's no snow. It's, I mean, when it's not snowing up here. Wait, that looks like Odaving. That guy's still flying around here. Did he make this his home? I mean, it's nice and all up here. There was a notch pickaxe up there and uh, I think ebony. So, I don't blame him for sticking around over here. Let's see, where do we have to go next? Quest marker, quest marker. Wait, what's this one? Wait, there's that one there. Stonehill Bluff. Okay. Now, giant spawns aren't exactly something that I worry about. I can just go and murder all their asses for toes. Oh, looks like there's one here. Take that, and let's just harvest this while I'm at it. Nope. Do you want me to cut your ass? Actually, I cut his face. Common soul gem. Now, usually these things give a lot of pelts for your house. But I guess this one only get one saber cat pelt, which is not really a bad thing. And here's something in the middle of nowhere. Uh, cars waste it now. I feel like that place is full of enemies. Alright, um... Quests... Nah, I think I just walked. Right, Neloth, that guy told us to do something for him about a briar heart. This one, right? Examine a Briarheart warrior. How do I examine one? Do I cut him up? Or do I stab him? Or do I shoot him in the face? I'm not really sure what to do about that one, but I guess we're gonna find out. I don't wanna deal with these. You stand. You stand and tank. It's super effective. Now, how do I get up there? That's that's the question. And also, there's an undiscovered tower. Maybe there's people in there to murder. Do I want to go in the tower? Ugh. That's great. Just great. Now, how do I even get up there? Guys, I think the Dragonborn is one-third human, one-third dragon, and one-third mountain goat. The, the, it, there's no other way to explain how he jumps up mountains like that. Oh, there's a Briar Heart. Nah, let's just go up there and stab him. Never what? I stabbed him. Search. Harvest. Oh, I have to talk to Neloth again. You know, I'm all good for... Uh, what? Map updated. Wow, okay, so I completed more quests than I really wanted to. You know what, I'm, I'm just gonna take this. I don't even know where I picked that quest up. Let's see if I can murder her ass. If 
155. That's that's not bad. Come on, let's go and murder her ass. That was your old face getting cut. Probably not worth a level up. I don't enjoy my enemies being leveled up needlessly. Okay, let's try and fast travel out of here, but it's probably not going to let me. <sighs> I cannot fast travel while all enemies are nearby. Well, you know what I have to say to that? You know what I have to say to that? We have never used this shout before. Screw you! Alright, where's the other scrubs? Come on, lightning! Come on, lightning! Do I have to do everything myself? You know, sometimes I wonder what that lightning is doing. And so far the answer is, is not what it's supposed to. Whatever, we're, we're getting away from that place. Okay, let's go and tell the guy that we fix his crap. And also Neloth that we fix his crap. Working in Windhelm is great. I lost my twin sister on the back. My master can be a bit short tempered, but I'll never have Master Nurelian skills potions. Thank the gods. I'll get to work on the files straight away. What are you doing? Okay, you ran around. I tripped over some shit. Master, look. It's the file. What? How? Doesn't matter. Look, it's refilling with your tonic as we speak. Marvelous. Go. Oh. He is gone, but thanks to you, he died knowing his life's work was not in vain. As am I. You acted very nobly in helping my master realize his life's work. Thank you for that. As for myself, I've always been content to simply be an alchemist. I fear keeping the file would just remind me of Norellian's obsession and how it consumed him. Here, keep it. You are as much a part of its legend now as Coralno was. I hope it brings you the happiness that my master desired. Now, how would you like me to align the file's properties? I'm not as skilled as Coralno, so I'm afraid it will only ever refill with one type of liquid. Power of healing. Resist the force of magic. Tougher in battle. Um, I don't know, what does all this even do? I guess it just gives you an infinite potion. Now I can make my own healing. Magic resist is nice. Deal more damage in battle. See, all of these are probably active ab abilities. And I wouldn't want to use active abilities. But I guess out of everything... Strengthen magical skills. Now, does that include enchanting or not? Do more damage in battle. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna probably take. Strengthen my magical skills. Tougher in battle. What? He is gone. But thanks to you, he died knowing his life's work was not in vain. 
Okay, can I tab out? Oh, I can. I'll never have Master Norellian skill with potions. He, but thanks to you, he died knowing. You acted very. As for myself, okay, so, so I'll, I'll just pick this later. I guess I guess you can't have it for now. I'll probably go look up what what the things actually do and make my decision then. Um. Let's just drop a quick save right now and return to Neloth with his garbage and see what he wants. I dropped the quick save because I don't know what will happen when I come back. And I didn't exactly want to screw myself out of a reward for a quest. Okay, now where's the big mushroom place? Well, someone's pissed. Alright, these things actually have a lot of health. I forgot all about these things. Spawn ash. Right, that's an ingredient. I don't think these things drop any garbage, so I'm just gonna take everything. I have no idea why those things attack. But I guess we have to go here. Oh, that's the kitchen. I don't want to go in the kitchen. Alright, where, where, where do we have to go? Over there. Eh, uh, what? Okay, you know what? The quest marker is probably better than Clairvoyance. Clairvoyance is kind of a piece of shit right now. Alright, what do you want? What? <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! <laughs> what is this bull? <laughs> what is this bullshit? Defeating Mirak was an impressive feat. I'm curious to see if Hermaeus Mora seeks you out because of it. Uh. Oh, have you? Well, let me just extract those memories and I'll see if you found anything useful. I promise that any unrelated memories I run across will be kept in the strictest of confidences. Here, you deserve a bit of a reward for your efforts. That was a lengthy trip for you, I'm sure. There are too many coincidences. There must be someone behind all of my recent troubles. There are too many coincidences. There must be someone behind Do you need help all of my with your research? I suppose that depends. Are you willing to be an experiment? Oh, nothing too dangerous. It should provide an additional spectral tether from your own life spark to the Adric realm. You would experience it as a sort of increased vigor. You would fight longer, feel stronger, that sort of thing. At least I think it will, probably, almost certainly. Of course, you never can tell. Sure. Now stand still. It's my first time casting this spell. I don't need any additional distractions. I fell off a giant mushroom. But if you do, try not to scream too loudly. My ears are sensitive. Off you go. If you discover any side effects, come back and tell me straight away. Now get back here. Uh, should we? Should we ask him for another quest? Yes, I have enemies. Legions of them back in Morrowind. However, in this case, I have reason to believe it is someone in Solstein. You want me to kill them? Not yet. That may come later. But first, I need to identify the culprit. I've enchanted this ring to find the source of the attacks. Here, take it. Uh. 
just wear it. It will light up the source when you get close to it. I enchanted the thing with a bit of ash from the last ash spawn attack. It can follow the magical link back to its summoner. The link is weak, so you'll have to be within about a hundred feet of the source. Sure. I picked up enough quests, fell to my untimely death. So I think I think that's a that's a nice wrap to the to the video. When we come back, we're gonna continue with Dawn Guard. And that's about it.